Oh, I can't do virtual reality, I'll get sick. I tried one of those VR games once, it made me so nauseated. Uh... My friend is one of those and she showed me a game, I nearly barfed. <laughs> the single most common thing I hear from people who are new to virtual reality is that they are worried it will make them sick. It's a reasonable concern. We've been hearing about VR being the next big thing since the early 1980s. And for decades, all the products that actually made it to market weren't that good. So they made people want to vomit. But the fact is that the new generation of VR gadgets has largely solved the issue of motion sickness. They're so real that your brain is cool with what's happening. And you're not likely to get sick unless, of course, you do something in VR that would also make you nauseous in real life. So. How can you avoid having your fun trip to a virtual world end up with a visit to Upchuck City? First of all, it's important to understand why we get sick from things like VR simulations. Motion sickness happens when your eyes see movement, but your inner ear doesn't detect it. Why does that happen? One theory is that your body kind of short circuits when the vestibular system and the visual system don't match. It just can't figure out what's going on and it overloads. But another theory says that motion sickness is actually a protection against poisoning, that it evolved to protect human hunter-gatherers who picked the wrong mushroom from the forest. When you're poisoned and you start hallucinating, your body makes you sick and throw up to get rid of that poison. Either way, we know the trick to preventing motion sickness is to make sure your brain doesn't detect any intolerable difference between what you see and what you do. The good news is that modern VR units have largely solved this problem. They've reduced the lag that can occur when you turn your head to look at something. What used to make people sick is when they moved and then the environment caught up to them a second later. New hardware is so fast that that lag isn't an issue. But there are still some VR experiences that have a lot more simulated movement than just turning your head. And those are the ones that make people sick. What should you do about those? Well, my first tip is, if you are prone to motion sickness in the real world, stick to gentle activities in the virtual world. Meta's VR experiences are all labeled with a comfort rating from comfortable to moderate to intense. Pay attention to those. A comfortable experience will probably have a fixed camera, so you won't feel like you're moving, so your inner ear won't get confused. In contrast, an intense experience, like the ones that have you flying a spaceship in three dimensions or running around at high speed, those are going to create a big disparity between what you're seeing and what you're feeling. Avoid that until your brain is ready. That takes us to tip two, exposure therapy. Motion sickness is something you can get over with experience. If you start feeling sick with a VR app, stop using it. Come back to it later when you feel better. Repeat until you build your tolerance. Even the most sensitive user can eventually get to the point where they can do moderate or even extreme experiences with ease. Tip three, medicate yourself. Some studies have shown that ginger can help prevent or treat motion sickness. Keep some ginger candies in your VR space or a ginger drink in your fridge. It'll make you feel better. There are also some medications that do wonders for motion sickness. Scopolamine is a prescription drug that doctors sometimes give to people when they're going on cruises or other trips that might cause motion sickness. That's not practical for normal at home use, but if you're going to go to a VR convention or to pay for some crazy experience, well, hey, the medications work. But the bottom line is, find your comfort level and stick to it. With time, your ability to do more exciting things in VR will grow. Have you got tips for handling motion sickness in VR? Share them in the comments below. Check out more videos here on gizmodo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.